Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you a reading vlog. Hi guys, it is 5.40 p.m. on Monday the 9th of April. Welcome to a new vlog. So I'm just home from work as usual and I thought I'd give you guys a reading update. So last night, if you watched the last clip of the last vlog, then you know that I was reading Twist of Faith over the weekend by Ellen J. Green, was a net galley read. And I didn't really like it that much. Um, it was okay. okay. Like, it kind of kept me interested. So I'll give you the synopsis because I haven't done it in this video. This is a thriller that, well, like a mystery thriller-ish um, about a woman whose adoptive mother dies and she finds a photo in her adoptive mother's things that's a photo of a house and it says something on the photo about destiny calls to us or something whatever she's convinced that this photo has to do with her past because she doesn't know anything about where like she came from she was adopted apparently she was um abandoned in a church as a baby um, and so she doesn't know, like, where she came from or, you know, yada, yada, yada. And she's convinced that this photo has something to do with it. And it kind of all just goes from there. The mystery, while interesting and kind of engaging, was very convoluted. I didn't like the writing. I mentioned in the last vlog, which I mentioned incorrectly, I said it was told in first person. It's not. It's told mainly in... Well, it's all in second person, but sometimes you get the use of names. So you'll get like, well, that's not second person. I mean, third person. Oh my God, I don't know my perspectives. Sometimes it's told like, it'll say Richard, blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes it just goes into a lot of use of he and she. And because it shifts perspectives a lot, I was very confused as to who was talking some of the time. And not only that, but you also had a perspective that for a portion of the book, you don't know whose perspective that is. So they're using he and she, but then you sometimes get he for the perspectives of people that you do know so it was all it was just very confusing in my opinion i also thought that parts of the winnie ah, sorry she was scratching the couch and she knows she's not allowed to scratch the couch um that portions of the mystery like some things that happened i was like that doesn't really make sense like i don't like buy into that which can happen sometimes, like, with thrillers. But in this, there was just parts that I was like, well, no. Like, if you go back and look at, like, what happened, like, I'm just, I, like, I'm calling bullshit. I also really, really didn't like the ending. So, overall, I'm giving it a 2.5 stars. And my general overall feelings about it is that, like, maybe that could even, like, be a bit generous. Like, maybe it should just be a straight 2 star. But I think 2.5 stars is fair. So, I'm going to go with a 2.5 star rating. It's kind of where I'm sitting with it. So today, I was supposed to start pick, pick up Sister's Fate by um, Jessica Spotswood, the third and final book in the Cahill Witch Chronicles, but I didn't get a single page read today. Not a single page. Um, I was really busy. Well, I had a meeting, like an external meeting that I had to go to with my boss today, and it went for, like we were gone from the office for over two and a half hours, so I didn't have time, like I didn't have time over lunch to like pick anything up, or and I didn't end up reading on the bus at all today, um, so... I just didn't get anything read. And I also have knitting group tonight. So at the very most tonight, I'm going to get like a couple of chapters read um, before I go to bed. Um, and I was ahead. Last week, I got quite a lot read during the week. So I was ahead kind of on where I needed to be to get all my books read for the month. But I didn't get as much read over the weekend, which is standard. And I kind of like ate into the lead. I guess that I had and now I've definitely fallen behind and especially with it now being during the week and I've got like no pages read today which is unusual for me during the week so hopefully for the next at least four days during the week I can have really solid reading days and get caught back up on where I need to be I'm not too far behind so like I'm not worried but fingers crossed for that so that's probably it for this clip I'll check in with you guys when I get home from work tomorrow when hopefully by that stage I've made really great progress on Sister's Fate and can tell you guys how I'm feeling about it. oh before we go god I did read today I'm a straight up liar I was listening to an audiobook I forgot about that so I'm listening to an Irresistible Alliance by Stephanie Lawrence this is the second book in the Devil's is it Devil's Brood? Devil's Blood. 
the Devil's Brood trilogy. Um, I read the first book, The Lady by His Side, last week. This is the second book in the trilogy. Um, so I listened to 39% of that today. So I did listen to that um, and hopefully... Hopefully I can get that finished uh, tomorrow maybe, depending how much time I get for listening because it is a longer book. So, yes, that is all. <laughs> that is all I have for this particular clip. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hi guys, it is 5.40 p.m. on Tuesday the 10th of April. I'm just home from work and I had a much more successful reading day today than I did in did yesterday. So last night I ended up not reading anything. Um, I got home from knitting and I was just really, really tired. Um, I didn't mention, so I mentioned a while ago that I was donating blood and I didn't end up mentioning in that clip I actually got rejected from donating blood so I do donate every quarter just how often you can donate um, whole blood here but I actually was iron deficient and so I couldn't donate and so I now need to basically wait um, I need to see my doctor um, and um, wait before I can donate again but one of the things with iron deficient and I actually had noticed it in the last couple of weeks um, is that I've been very, very, very tired, like very tired. Um, and that is one of the signs of iron deficiency. So anyway, I was super tired last night, so I didn't end up reading anything. I just basically um, went to bed pretty soon after I got home from knitting. But today, I had a much more successful reading day. So I have continued on with the audiobook of um, An Irresistible Alliance. I am currently, how far through am I? 86% of the way through that. So I'm pretty close to the end of that. I'll definitely be finishing that off tomorrow. Um, so far, I'm in, I'm in like enjoying it. It's pretty on par with the first one, just your kind of typical historical romance type thing. Um, I did, however, today start Sister's Fate by Jessica Spotswood. This is the third and final book in the Cahill Witch Chronicles. I am on page. I got so much good reading today. I actually had a super productive day at work which was really really good but I also got a lot read like on um, the bus to and from work and on my lunch break so I had a super productive wet day at work and I got a lot read so I'm on page 302 and I only started this today so I got 300 pages read of this today and this is 360 pages so less than 60 pages to go in this I'll definitely get this finished tonight I don't have anything like going on tonight, but I do have a video that I need, I need to edit and upload tonight. And then I'm hoping to also edit another video. I also have to like do washing and I need to wash my hair tonight and just a bunch of other little things that I need to get done, but nothing that will stop me hopefully from getting this finished. Well, I, no way. Like I, even if I have to read this right before I go to bed, I'm definitely finishing this tonight. I'm really, really enjoying it. I can't wait to see how it all finishes up. Um, I'm really excited to finish it because I'm really enjoying it. But yes, that is it for this particular clip. I think I will, I will definitely have more to update you on tomorrow when I get home from work because I will have finished this. I will have finished An Irresistible Alliance. I'll have a new book that I will have started to talk to you about. So I will talk to you guys when I get home from work tomorrow. Hi Winnie. <laughs> Bye guys. Hi guys, it is 5.45 p.m. on Wednesday the 11th of April. Just home from work, as is standard, um, and I thought I'd give you guys a reading update. So last night, I finished Sister's Fate by Jessica Spotswood. Really enjoyed it. Um, it was probably my least favorite of the trilogy. Like, if I had to rank the trilogy, I'd probably go book two, then book one, then book three, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it had a great ending. It didn't have like any like loose ends, but it wasn't one of those unrealistic tied up in a bow endings. It was like kind of like a more realistic, hopeful ending, but without loose ties. And I really liked that. Loved all the sister relationships in this series. 
loved the romance. There's also LGBT rep in this. We have female-female relationships in the books. Um, basically, I loved it all, really, and I gave that on um, the last book four stars. I then, today at work, finished the audiobook for An Irresistible Alliance by Stephanie Lawrence. This is the second book um, in the trilogy, and I enjoyed it. I probably... So this one didn't have the murder mystery plot to it, which even though I didn't super love the murder mystery plot in the other one, I still kind of missed it in this one. Like I didn't think this like kind of like side plot that you have going on around the romance was, look, he's just turned up, <laughs> was as enjoyable. Um, but again, the romance was still pretty good. Um, so again, I'd probably just give that like a three star. Um, I will say that they are pretty, like, strong female characters, like, for a romance also, which is good. Um, so I finished that today. I didn't pick up another one. I've got, like, I think, th yeah, three different audiobooks all came off hold today. But I didn't start listening to anything else because I had a bunch of podcasts to catch up on, so I'm all caught up on those now, so I will be listening to something new tomorrow. But I did start Glare Nine Dragons by Michael Connolly. This is the next Harry Bosch novel that I need to read. Um... I think I've mentioned before, so I read the Mickey Haller series before I read the Harry Bosch series, and most of Michael Connolly's series are interlinked. So I've kind of been spoiled for, like, the life events of Harry that go on in this because I've read a Mickey Haller book that's set after this where Harry Bosch kind of crops up. So I kind of knew that this was coming, and I kind of know like where this is headed, this one, but I'm still enjoying it. I haven't read this before. I'm enjoying it. So I'm on page 177 of this. I won't get a super amount of reading done tonight. I do have training tonight, which I'm not looking forward to. It is super windy and super hot. It is 37 degrees here today, which is ridiculous. We've just had this weird hot spurt over the last four or five days, and but there's going to be like a... 13 degree um, temperature drop um, like overnight like it's supposed to basically drop to the low 20s and be raining for like the next four or five days so yeah that's the thing but yeah so that's about it I think for the reading update hopefully I'm just under halfway so I'll definitely be able to get over halfway through this tonight which hopefully means I'll be able to finish this tomorrow I do have a massage after work tomorrow um but yes and I'll be listening to a new audiobook tomorrow so I'll have that to talk about I doubt that I'll finish a whole audiobook but I'll have that to talk about tomorrow as well so I think that's it for this clip I will talk to you guys when I get home from work tomorrow bye guys hi guys it is about 5 47 p.m on thursday the 12th of april um i've been home from work for about 20 minutes but i've just had some things that i needed to do when i got home um so i thought i'd give you guys a reading update now i do have a massage tonight that i need to leave for in about 30 minutes and i also have a video that i need to edit and upload tonight um that i was hoping originally to get edited on tuesday night to do the first edit on Tuesday after um, I edited and uploaded the, pr the video that I did then, but it just took me forever, and so I didn't get on to editing it. And then with training last night, I didn't get time. So, yes, I have that going on tonight. So I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done tonight. But anyway, in terms of what I have got read. So last night I got to about page 253 or something like that in um, this book, uh, Nine Dragons by Mark Connolly. And then today at work I did finish this. So... I mentioned that I kind of knew where this one was headed because I'd read the Mickey Haller series and I did, but I didn't, I knew kind of the big picture, not the like smaller details. And I actually really enjoyed it. And when I looked at the reviews after I finished it, it's one of the less popular books in the series, which I'm not sure why, because I personally really enjoyed it. Um, so I ended up giving that 3.75 stars. Um, I then was also listening to an audiobook today, a new audiobook. I just dropped that book on the floor. Um, and that was When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanjo Manon. I am 74% of the way through that, so I'll definitely be able to finish that off tomorrow. Um, I'm sure you've all heard about this, a young adult contemporary about two um, Indian teens. Um, 
um, in America who his parents have kind of set them up into kind of an arranged marriage and Rishi, the boy, is aware of this arrangement and is for it and um, Dimple, the girl, is not aware and is not for um, arranged marriage and it's just kind of about their story. I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. Like Again, I've mentioned it before, I don't typically super love really light-hearted contemporaries. I definitely prefer my contemporaries more dark and gritty. Um, but I am really enjoying it, um, so I definitely get that finished tomorrow. I then, once I finished Nine Dragons, I did start The Good Girl Today by Mary Kubica. This I am on page 54, um, so just a little ways into this. This is a adult thriller, psychological thriller, and I don't know too much about it, but it seems to be about, so basically it's about a, a woman who goes missing, but then she's back, but she doesn't remember what happened. And she, she's got like selective kind of amnesia. She doesn't remember what happened, but not only that, she's got, she like is calling herself by a different name and doesn't remember some details of her life, but she remembers some other stuff. And you're kind of getting it in, there's a lot of perspectives, but not only the perspectives, but different time periods. So you're getting both before, what well, kind of a, when she went missing and then after she's back. So... I'm very interested to kind of see where this goes because it's very kind of intriguing so far. I don't really know what the heck is going on, um, which in a psychological thriller is probably a good thing. Um, so, yes, that is where I'm at so far. I probably will only get a couple of chapters of this read before, right before I go to sleep because I'm going to basically, as soon as I get home from the massage, be focusing on getting that video edited. I want to start editing it now before I go but I do have to leave here in like 15 minutes, so I'm not going to have much time and I need to like get changed and so on and so forth. I also do need to, I was hoping to wash my hair tonight. Um, it just depends how much time I think I'm going to have when I get home because I'll have to shower regardless because I'm going to be covered in oil. Um, but yeah, so that's it, I think, for this update. When he's going to be sad to see me leave for the evening. Well, not for the evening. I'll be back after about an hour and a half, but yeah. Anyway, that is it for this clip. I'll talk to you guys when I get home from work tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm always excited by Friday, in case you couldn't tell by these vlogs, because I mention it, like, every week. But I'll definitely talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. It is 5.35 p.m. on Friday the 13th. Ooh. And I'm just home from work and I've had to turn the overhead light on because it is so overcast and rainy that the lighting is already really terrible. So anyway, as I mentioned, I'm just home from work. It's the weekend. Woohoo! Um, so, oh, okay. Um, so today at work I finished the audiobook of When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandra um, Manon and... I enjoyed it. I had some problems with it. Um, I don't, it's hard to kind of put. I thought I agree with a lot of the people who said that there's not enough coding in it. So the main female character, well, the the two characters are meet up at this um, like summer program before college, which is all about coding and like app development and stuff like that. And the main female character, Dimple in particular, is supposed to be really, really into like coding and stuff, but you get very little of that. Um, like it really is just very romance focused. I also thought that the actual like romance part of the story, I think happened a little bit too early. Um, and towards the end of the book, I became particularly frustrated with the female character, Dimple. Um, but I did still really enjoy it. And I really liked this kind of diverse, like, YA romance with two Indian teens and his own voices. I liked that there was some commentary in there, in fact, on, like, <sighs> Christianity being the default. And, like, why is Christianity the default? And, you know, things like that. I really did like all of that stuff. Um, so I did really enjoy it, but I did think it had a few little issues as well. So I gave that 3.75 stars. I then have still been reading The Good Girl by Mary Kubica. Um, so last night I got up to just over 100 pages. I think I was on like page 108, something like that. And I got just over 100 pages read today at work. I'm on page 222. 
so I'm past the halfway point. Um, I don't know how... <laughs> Winnie's trying to get in shot. Um, I don't know how... Uh, Winnie? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. So, about 80 to 100 pages in, this got a lot, starts to kind of really slow down the pace and got a lot slower than I was expecting this to be for a thriller. And it's been pretty slow kind of from that point. Like the last 100 pages have been pretty slow and I'm not really sure. I've still got like... 130, 140 pages left, but I'm really not sure where this is headed. Um, so I am interested to see kind of like where we're headed, but it has gotten pretty slow, but I am enjoying that. I have nothing going on tonight at all. Um, we don't, I don't have training tonight because we were supposed to have a game tomorrow night. So training was canceled, but now our game's also been canceled this weekend. Um, so yeah, nothing going on tonight, coffee and such tomorrow as usual, but I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I can get a pretty decent chunk of this red tonight. I think I'm just going to be chilling out, maybe have a bath, do some reading. And yeah, live the good life. But I'll definitely check in with you guys tomorrow and give you guys another update. Hi guys, it is 11.30am on Saturday the 14th of April. Um, I'm just in the library car park. I had two holds to pick up today. And an overdue item that I had to return. I actually have two other overdue items, but I haven't read them yet. Um, so, reading update. I made pretty good progress last night in The Good Girl by Mary Kubica. I'm on about page 280-something. So I've got less than 100 pages to go in that. So I'm hoping that I can get that finished today. I don't really have anything going on today. I had coffee this morning and like was at the shops with my parents. Um, and now I'm obviously at the library. Some of the girls from my soccer team, because our game was cancelled, are still going like over to the club and are going to have like a drink at like five o'clock. So I'm probably going to go to that, but I'm going to see how I feel because I don't know if you can tell, it is a rainy, gloomy day and it is a perfect day to just be curled up on the couch. I actually have two videos that I need to film today. I think they should both be pretty quick videos I'm hoping I haven't actually planned either of them out so I need to go home plan them out and then film and I'm hoping to actually maybe even get both of them edited today so I just don't have to worry about that um, during the week at all um, and then yeah I think I'm hopefully just going to be reading and probably watching some Glee and some movies and even if I go to have a drink um, this evening I won't stay I'll probably only stay for like an hour or two at the at the most and then just come home and spend the rest of the day rest of the night, sorry, on the couch watching TV and such with Winnie. So yeah, that's about it for this update. I may, if I end up getting a good amount of reading done, like while it's still decent lighting and I finish The Good Girl, I may check in this afternoon, but probably I'll check in tomorrow. So tomorrow, my dad and my brother are both playing soccer. So I've got a bit going, like I'll be out for like a chunk of the day tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely check in with you guys at some point soon and let you know how my reading is going. Bye guys. Hi guys. It is about 10.30 a.m. on Sunday the 15th of April. Um, I'm in a annoyed kind of mood because my plans have just been changed and I hate when I think that I know what's going on and then things change at the last minute. It annoys me a lot. So I'd originally thought my parents were picking me up at 10.30 a.m. Um, to go to my dad's soccer game. Um, but it turns out my dad's playing an hour and a half later than what he said that he was. And so that is annoying. And so now he's playing at 1.30 and my brother's playing at three, which means their games are going to overlap. So I'm going to have to leave one game to go anyway. It's just annoying. Um, so I think now I'm just going to be going to get coffee um, with my mother because I want coffee and I haven't. I thought we would be going on the way to soccer. Very annoying. Anyway, in terms of a reading update, so let me grab. Oh, I put it down. Why did I put it so far? So last night, I didn't get a huge amount of re read last night. 
like yesterday, I spent a lot of time. So yesterday I filmed two videos. I edited, completely edited and scheduled for upload the first one. I then edited every clip from this vlog that I'd taken to date so that that's pretty close to being ready to go once I finish these last few clips. And I then completely edited the second video that I filmed as well. So I'm very on top of my editing um, at the moment. So once I finish, so this the last day of this vlog is going to be tomorrow and then I'll film like the outro or whatever and then I'll be able to just add in those few clips and then get that, um, get this one finalized and uploaded and then the next video that I have that will be going up after the vlog is already edited so I just need to upload it so I'm very happy with the progress that I made with that but I didn't watch any Glee or watch any movies either I got very into the Commonwealth Games so the Commonwealth Games is on right now in Australia um, and there were just a few events on that I was really interested in I watched the women's hockey final which Australia lost and I then watched I watched heaps. I watched a lot of the diving, which I really love the diving. I watched the women's basketball, which Australia won. I watched the um, women's netball semi-final, which again Australia won. I watched the men's hockey final, which Australia won. It was just a good day for Australia, except for the women's hockey final. Um, so yeah, I was just watching a lot of the Commonwealth Games. So I only read about 80 pages, but I did finish The Good Girl by Mary Kubica last night before I went to bed. So... This was not what I expected. This is super slow. So I don't think I've said what this is about. So this is a thriller, apparently, about a woman who has gone missing. And she's back, but she doesn't remember, like, the details of kind of her abduction or, like, where she's been. Because she's been gone for quite some time, like, a couple of months and she's like also saying that her name is Chloe even though her name's Mia and she remembers like some details of her life but she doesn't remember like everything she's very fuzzy you know blah 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 and we get alternating perspectives we get the perspective of the abductor we get the perspective of the police detective who was trying to find her and we get the perspective perspective of her mother so we have those three perspectives and it kind of alternates between time periods as well so we get the period like from her abduction and like through while she's gone and then also the time period after she's back trying to figure out um what went on so this was very slow very 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 slow after about the first 80 to 100 pages i feel like nothing happened and this book is like 350 some pages. So you get literally like 200 pages of just nothing. And then at the end when it's all kind of coming together and you get the plot twist, which I didn't like because I, I Winnie, um, I prefer my plot twist to be the type of plot twist where you go, oh shit. That like, and then you go, Oh, that's why this happened, and that's why this happened, and that's why this happened, and, like, everything adds up. This was one of those plots where I just went, what? And then I had so many questions that are just unanswered because there were so many things that, to me, didn't make sense, like, after the plot. I, just, I didn't like this that much. I did enjoy the writing. And I actually have another America Kubica book that I'm going to be reading very soon, Pretty Baby, and I'm hoping I enjoy that one a lot more than I enjoyed this one. But I did enjoy the writing, so I'm hoping that if the plot is more engaging and maybe a little bit faster paced in that one, I've, I don't think I've ever read a, a thriller that was this slow. Like, like I said, it literally felt like for 200 pages nothing happened. I, I was bored, quite frankly, for a lot of this. So I did enjoy the writing. I've given this 2.75 stars. Not my favourite. So then this morning, so I've been up since seven. Um, I had a, oh, Winnie was ill in the night and I didn't know until I woke up. And so I had that to clean up this morning, which was a delightful way to wake up. But it meant that I was awake. Normally I'll end up falling back asleep, but because I had to get up and deal with that, I was like quite awake. So I've been awake for quite a while. So I've been watching booktube and reading this morning before I started getting ready for a soccer that I'm not yet going to. So I've started my next book, which is The Secret Mother by Shalini Boland. This is the um, monthly book for the Deadly Divas Book Club. And 
Um, it's really quite short. I'm already 25% of the way through and I really haven't spent that much time reading. I've just been reading in like little chunks. I'm already a quarter of the way through. Very quick and easy to read. So this is about a woman. It's another thriller. And this one is about a woman who comes home one day and there is a boy, little boy in her house. And he says, like, are you my mommy? And she's like, uh, no, I don't know you. And then he makes some, like, weird allusions to, like, like I say, her being his mom and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and she, I'm not going to tell you much more than that because I feel like you should go into thrillers knowing not too much. That's kind of the, you know, hook, if you know what I mean. And it goes up from there. It's pretty short. Like I said, I think it's only, like, 250 pages. So I'm very much enjoying that so far. Already more engaging and interesting than The Good Girl was. Um, so hopefully I'll, I'm at, like... I'm not going to have a huge amount of time to read today because I'm going out for coffee now and then I'll be at soccer, blah, blah, blah. But I can get, I reckon, at least over 50% of the way through this tonight and then be able to finish it off tomorrow. Um, I do also have like three audiobooks that are on that are all come in that I'll be able to start listening to one of those tomorrow at work as well. So I should have plenty to talk about um, in my clip tomorrow. But I may even take my Kindle with me because I'm going to be driving now because um, we need to take two cars because of the whole needing to leave one game before anyway um so i'm going to be driving my car so i may take my kindle because i'll just be able to leave it in the car and take it and i'll be able to read in any downtime that we may have P pretty unlikely i normally do that and then i never end up reading anything but it's always good to have i also have the kindle app on my phone anyway if i really wanted to get some pages in so yeah that's about it for this clip i'll probably not check in with you guys until i get um home from work tomorrow but I will talk to you guys then. Hi guys, it is about 5.35 p.m. on Monday, the 16th of April. Apologize for the lighting situation. The sun is not technically down, but it's completely overcast. So I don't have a whole lot of natural light coming in. So apologies, I may have to start trying to do these clips in the morning if I can get enough time. So, home from work, reading update. I finished... So last night I was about just over 50% of the way through The Secret Mother by Shalini Boland and I finished it today while I was at work. I actually didn't have, I was really busy at work today so I didn't have a super amount of time to read but I did finish The Secret Mother um, on my lunch break. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, it has, Winnie, it has its problems. Um, not problems, it's really easy to read it's quite short it's only 250 pages so it was very quick very easy to read very engaging um the only issues that i had with it well i did guess like kind of what was going on fairly early on but that like doesn't necessarily take away from my enjoyment because i quite often guess like the twist in thrillers um but the only problem that i had with it was that at the end of the book i still had like, there were a lot of things that I thought didn't quite make sense or questions that weren't answered. And Winnie! Sorry, guys. Um, that weren't quite answered. And, but it was, but it was still really enjoyable. So I'm giving it four stars. Like, it was really enjoyable. I really enjoyed, like, the experience of reading it. But just those kind of unanswered questions, I couldn't give it a higher rating than that. Um, so yes, I did also, I started a new audiobook today, so I'm listening to, it's called The Dollhouse, who is it by? By Fiona Davis. I am 63% of the way through that audiobook. Um, this is a mystery story, kind of, so it's basically like a women's fiction type mystery that is told between two different timelines so we have a woman living in 2016 in new york and she's living in an apartment building that used to be a like hotel like hotel but like where women girls stayed when they came to new york like while they were at modeling agencies or doing secretarial school or whatever in the 50s and 60s it's the place where um sylvia plath stayed famously from the bell jar novel um it's there, but it's been turned into apartments. But there's this woman living there who's been living there since the 50s. There's a couple of women who still live there. But there's this one woman who always wears a veil 
over her face and through talking to the doorman, the main character discovers that there was a woman who died, who fell, whatever, from the roof of the building and the woman who wears the veil was, like, cut in the face in the, like, incident and so she's won a veil ever since and no one really knows what happened, you know, blah, 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 and it's years and years. So you get this kind of, so this main character works for a, like, web thing, like a news, web news thing. I, I, I take it that it's trying to be, like, a bustle or a BuzzFeed type thing. Um, anyway, and she works there, and so she wants to do a story on this. And so you get the dual timeline. So you get the 2016 of her trying to discover what's going on, but you also get the time period of this woman who you know is going to end up with a disfigured face, wearing a veil, Darby in 1952. New York, so you've got the dual timeline. Um, and then you've got the mystery of what happened to Darby. Like, how is it going to get to this point? Um that we know where we're at. So I'm enjoying it. Um, it's not necessarily as engaging as what I thought it would be. It's one of those things that we're not getting like a whole lot of details about the mystery and even the um, slower... Winnie! Winnie! I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, even the um, like 1950s part of it where we're building up to this moment, it's not super like suspenseful not like suspenseful is probably not the right word because it's not a thriller it is just like a got mystery aspects to like a more women's fiction literary fiction drama type story but it's she's in a crazy mood today um it's not as uh, uh, do not chew the camera <laughs> um it's not as engaging as i hoped it would be but i am enjoying it and i should probably get done with that tomorrow but this is actually the last clip for this particular vlog. Not sure how much I'm going to get read. My next book I'll be picking up is Pretty Baby by Mira Kubica. But I'm not sure if I'll... Oh, I'll probably get a chapter or two at least read of it before I go to bed. But I've got knitting tonight. Um, so, yeah, this is the last clip, as I mentioned, for this particular vlog. There will be an outro after this. So I'll see you guys in the outro. Thank you so much for watching my most recent reading vlog. Please comment down below how your guys' April reading month is going. I would love to know. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more of my channel. That's all I've got for this video today. Bye, guys.